Hey girls, it's Monday, February 2nd. So I'm kind of sad that we haven't gotten any um, suggestions for intro music, but I thought maybe we could kick it 5 Awesome Gay Style. So hey gals, it's Monday! Okay, <laughs> so I'm very excited to make this video this week. As you know, I try to get permission every week by the artist to use the music in my videos. And I contacted this band a while ago and they just got back to me this weekend, so I'm very excited. So the music playing right now is Fascist Kills Machine by Grand Casino. They're also from Ireland, just like Carousel, and I also heard about them through Apartment Red, so... So I've been wanting to use this song for a really long time because... On Apartment Red, they did a, an acoustic version of it. And there's clarinet in the band. So, I know that Dana and Katie play clarinet, so I thought they would like it just because clarinets aren't super common in bands. Okay, so France, you basically wanted to know what we think our flaws are, and I know that's not the exact wording, but I can't really remember what the exact wording was. Mine basically is, is that I'm really, really messy. I'm not going to show you my room because it's gross and embarrassing, but hopefully you can take my word on that. I'm also really bad with procrastinating. I have a paper due this week, which I haven't started, but I'm going to try to start today or tomorrow. And I still have to make my snowman. So in addition to having to make 18 snowmen, I also have to piggyback the song about snowmen. And piggybacking is basically taking the tune of one song and just changing the words. And I have part of the song, but I need you guys to help me finish the song because I can't think of anything else to add to it or how to finish it. The tune that I've chosen to piggyback is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and the song I have right now is Snowman, snowman all around, standing tall, nice and round, come let's build one, nice and high. And then I need like one more line. So help me and make it appropriate for school experience. Lucky me, I posted my 50 facts videos with 2 minutes to spare because it finished uploading and processing with 2 minutes to spare so I'm really lucky but it was really bad quality so a few days later I did delete it and re-upload it in better quality and fixed it because there was like 2 mistakes in it. But our darling France, hers was uploaded a little bit late, our challenge giver. But the video does technically say that she did upload it on the day it was due. It just took a lot of process. So, I don't think she should be punished. What do you guys think? So, Dana, I'm really sorry for challenging you with that, but it had to be done, you know? But I do hope your hair looks good after you get it done, because you did say you are getting it done the next day, right? I wanted to thank my friend Jessica G. She made me this, which is pretty cool. It's a little rug. It's a rug. So she wanted me to add it in a video, so I told her I would, because it's really cute and it's really nice. Katie, what are you doing tomorrow? Let's go to the movies and for dinner or something. Let me know what you're doing, because I miss you and I want to see you. So Jessica and Katie, are you? like all the same things and are very similar which is really really weird. Jessica, I have to agree, Doctor Who is amazing. I just started watching it two weeks ago maybe on some website and I am completely addicted. At first I was like this is pretty bad and the editing is pretty cheesy but I just keep wanting to know what's gonna happen next to Rose and the Doctor. I'm currently on season two right now, episode nine, I think. My favorite so far though is episode nine from season one, The Empty Child, with a cute little boy with a mask. And the new doctor is pretty hot. He does kind of look like Little Reg. So I don't really have anything else to say in this video. I've been dying to ask a question, but since we changed the rules, I can't. I'm going to set up a 5 Awesome Canadian Girls Gmail account for us because we do have the 5 Awesome Canadians email, but that's not even us, so I'm going to set up the 5 Awesome Canadian Girls email, and then if you guys could message me on MSN or iChat or Skype, I will send you the password and information so we can have people contact us if 
they want to help us with like the YouTube gathering in the summer or something. I, I'm still trying to think of a good date and I'm trying to get some suggestions and places we could do it. I have gotten suggestions from one person, um, is it A Mountain? I don't know, I'll put her link over here. She suggested we could go to Kensington in Chinatown and then get dinner or lunch or something. I think that'd be cool. I think we should do something else too. We could go to like Chuck E. Cheese or the other one that's like a knockoff. I don't remember what it's called. Let me know if you remember. It's like the exact same thing except it's not Chuck E. Cheese. And lastly, gals, I think we need to have a giant Skype conversation so let's make that happen this week because we don't really talk, well I don't really talk to all of you all that often. And Dana, I will see you tomorrow.